Today we're going to look how to multiply polynomials. So remember, a polynomial um, has more than one term in it, and when we multiply them together, we have to remember all of our exponent rules. We also have to remember the distributed property, and then we also have to remember how to multiply um, double digits and, and that process of multiplying two numbers together. So let's begin with just looking at some exponent rules. We want to multiply these together. So x times x would be x squared, because remember when the bases are the same, you add the exponent. And then 2x times 3x, well you can multiply 2 and 3 to get 6, and then x times x is x squared. So you get 6x squared. Now for the next problem, we have 6x squared times x to the 7th. So we're going to add our exponents to get x to the 9th, but we still have that 6, so we have 6x to the 9th. Now for this next problem, we want to distribute that 5. So we're going to multiply 5 by x, but we're also going to multiply 5 by 4. So 5 times x is 5x, and then 5 times 4 is 20. And then for this last problem, we're going to distribute again, but we're actually going to multiply 8x by both terms. So we're going to multiply 8x by x cubed, and then 8x by negative 9. So 8x times x cubed is 8x to the fourth. And then 8x times negative 9 becomes negative 72x, which we'll write as minus 72x. All right, so when we're multiplying polynomials, the distributed property is going to come in handy a lot. Um, what we can do with the distributed property is we can find the product of a monomial and a polynomial. So basically what we just did on that last example, we multiplied a monomial by a polynomial. Um, so what you'll do is when you distribute, you multiply every term of the polynomial by the monomial. And remember, monomial means just one term. We can also arrange this vertically, just like when we learned to multiply vertically, when we had a multi-digit number times um, a single digit and we arranged it vertically. You can do that when you multiply polynomials as well. So here is a visual representation of multiplying polynomials. This representation shows that 2x times x squared plus 2. So here is our x plus 2. So x plus 2, we have an x, we have 1, and we have 1. And then over here, vertically, we have 2x, right? So we have an x and an x. And so this is kind of like in biology when you have Punnett squares, if you've done that yet, but you kind of, you make a grid. So if we have x times x, we get x squared. And then x times x, again, is x squared. And then we have x times 1, and that's how they get the x. And then we have x times 1 again, and that's how they got this x. And then we have x times 1, and that's how they got this x. And then we have x times 1 again, and that's how we have this x. So this, is our, this whole thing is our answer. So we have an x squared, an x squared, and four x's. So we've got two x squared. That's why they write two x squared. And then we have four x's. So that's why they write plus four x. All right, so to show this vertically, x plus 2 times 2x, so you do 2x times 2, that's 4x. You'll go ahead and write the plus, and then 2x times x, that gives us 2x squared. All right, let's look at an example. We want to multiply 3x times x squared minus 7x plus 8. So we want to distribute this 3x to every term in this polynomial. And when we distribute, we multiply. So we'll start with 3x times x squared. That gives us 3x cubed. And then we'll do 3x times uh, minus 7x. So that becomes minus 21x squared. And then we'll do 3x times 8, and that gives us 24x. All right, we could also have done this vertically, 
right? So you list your polynomial and then times your monomial. So 3x times 8, that is 24x. And then you copy down your plus. And then 3x times negative 7x, that's negative 21x squared. And then 3x times x squared, that gives us 3x cubed. So either way, you can do it vertically or you can just distribute. Um, either way, as you saw, it gives you the correct answer. So let's take a look at example two. So example two, again, we're multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. So we'll distribute. So we have 2x squared, 2xy squared times 3x, and that gives us 6x squared y squared because 2 times 3 is 6, x times x is x squared, and then we just have the y squared. And then we'll multiply 2x squared um, times negative 8xy. So 2x squared times negative 8xy, well 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, x times x is x squared, and then y squared times y is y cubed. So our our next part of our answer is negative 16x squared y cubed, which we'll write as minus 16x squared y cubed. All right, moving on to the next term, we want to multiply this 2xy squared, we want to distribute it to the 5y. So 2 times 5 is 10, and then we have our x, and then y squared times y is y cubed. So our next part of our answer is 10xy cubed. So we're going to write plus 10xy cubed. And then our next part, the next thing that we want to distribute is to the minus 3z. So we have 2xy squared times negative 3z. So 2 times negative 3 becomes negative 6. And then we have our x and then we have our y squared, and then we have our z. So our last part is this negative 6xy squared z, which we will write as minus 6xy squared z. All right, so when you're multiplying two binomials, you have to use the distributive property, but you have to use it twice. So you're going to distribute every term in the first binomial to every term in the second binomial. So you're basically using the distributive property twice. So here is the visual example of that. Let's say we want to multiply um, x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. So here's our 2x plus 1. So here's an x and an x and a 1. So this side represents 2x plus 1. And this represents x plus 2 because we have x plus 1 plus 2, so that's x plus 2. So when we multiply, 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 times 1 is 1 here, and then x times 1 is x. Okay, then moving up, we have 1 times x is x, we have 1 times x is x, and then we have x times x is x squared. Then we'll move up a row. We have 1 times x is x. Then we have 1 times x is x again. And then we have x times x is x squared. So our answer is all of this all together. So we've got 2x squares. So we have 2x squared. And then we have 5x's, so plus 5x. And then we have a 1 and a 1, so we have plus 2. So our final answer is 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. All right, so let's look at an example. Let's say we want to multiply these two binomials together, 3x minus 7 and then 2x minus 5. So remember, we have to use the distributed property twice. We first have to distribute the 3x to the 2x and to the negative 5. And then we have to go back and distribute the negative 7 to the 2x and then to the negative 5. So let's start with, let's write this out. So we have 3x that has to be distributed to 2x minus 5. And then we have negative 7 that has to be distributed to 2x minus 5. So now we are going to distribute. So 3x times 2x becomes 6x squared. 
3x times negative 5 becomes minus 15x. Then we have negative 7 times 2x is negative 14x. And then negative 7 times negative 5 becomes positive, and we'll write plus 35. So then we can combine some like terms. Negative 15x minus 14x. That becomes negative 29x. So then we have our final answer of 6x squared minus 29x plus 35. So when you, um, you have polynomials that are more than two terms, so they're bigger than a binomial, sometimes vertical multiplication helps to see, to keep things straight and when we do vertical multiplication it's kind of like when you when you learned how to multiply um, multi digits right so you multiplied the first the first digit and then you skipped a place sometimes put a placeholder zero and then you just shift it over and then multiplied this the next term by everything on the top so let's take a look at what that looks like let's say we have 3x squared plus 4x plus 9, and we want to multiply that by x minus 2. So we're going to start with the minus 2, and we're going to multiply everything by minus 2. So 9 times uh, minus 2 becomes negative 18, and then negative 2 times 4x becomes negative 8x, and then negative 2 times 3x squared becomes negative 6x squared. So now we need to move over. So sometimes you want to put a placeholder zero here, that's fine. Um, but what you're going to do now is you're going to move over to the next term, the x, and now you're going to multiply everything by x. So x times 9 is 9x, x times 4x becomes 4x squared, and then x times 3x squared becomes 3x cubed. So now, just like when we multiply double digits, now that we've multiplied, now we want to add those two together. So when we add, we have negative 18 plus our placeholder 0 here, so that's just negative 18. We have negative 8x plus 9x, that just becomes 1x, or just x. And then we have negative 6x squared plus 4x squared, that becomes negative 2x squared. And then we had 3x cubed. Um, with nothing to add to it, so we have just 3x cubed. So this becomes our final answer down here. All right, so the steps to multiplying polynomials, you want to arrange both factors in descending powers. So you want to place in descending order of the powers. So if you have x to the fourth, plus x to the seventh, you want to rearrange that and put x to the seventh plus x to the fourth. Like you want to put the highest power first. Step two is multiply each term of the multiplier by each term of the multiplicand. So basically this is saying use the distributed property as many times as you have terms in the first, um, the first factor. And then step three, you just combine like terms to obtain your final answer. All right, let's look at another example. We have 2x cubed plus x squared minus 3x plus 4, and we're going to multiply that by 5x minus 2. So we're going to begin with multiplying everything by minus 2. So negative 2 times 4 becomes negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 3x becomes positive 6x, so we're going to write plus 6x. Negative 2 times x squared becomes negative 2x squared. And then negative 2 times 2x cubed becomes negative 4x cubed. So now we're going to start multiplying by this 5x. So we're going to go ahead and put a placeholder 0 here, or you can just leave it blank. And when we start writing our answers, we're going to start writing start here. So 5x times 4 is a positive 20x, so we'll put, put plus 20x. And then 5x times negative 3x becomes negative 15x squared, so we'll write minus 15x squared here. And then we have 5x times x squared, that's a positive 5x cubed, so we'll write plus 5x cubed. And then we have 5x times 2x cubed. That's going to be 10x to the fourth. So we'll write 10x to the fourth. So now we add those together. So negative 8 comes down to negative 8. We have 6x plus 20x 
which becomes 26x. Then we have negative 2x squared minus 15x squared. That's going to be negative 17x squared. Then we have negative 4x cubed plus 5x cubed. That's a positive x cubed, so we'll just write plus x cubed. And then we have 10x to the fourth, which just comes down. So this becomes our final answer. All right, go ahead and try some problems on your own.